organisational system in my box. Well, it's, the other thing is, is, I need to start labelling my boxes so I know what's in what. Yeah, that's a whole level of organisation I don't have. Okay. Don't tell me I'm missing a box. Oh. Righty, 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 let's talk to the camera. Oh, no, there it is. oh, do I want to talk? To? Yeah, where's the camera? There's the camera. There's the camera. Hey, up YouTube. We're out again. I, tell, I, I really sometimes wonder why. <laughs> um, yeah. So, tip lights, rod lights. I need to set up all that kind of thing. We're not actually out fishing yet. We're waiting on the tide. I, well, he's out fishing, yeah. I'm not. You know me, I'm a lazy fisherman. <laughs> Uh, high tide's at around about 8 o'clock, it's only half past 4 now. Um, and we're back on Starley Wall. Um, there's been some cracking sessions had down here by everybody else recently. So, you know, you got to give it a fair shot, and you? you got to give it a pe fair pump. So I'll roll the credits I'll, uh, and I'll talk to you again once I've got a little bit more organised. <laughs> Yeah. Look, <laughs> how do you say? You landed it. Dave's casting, I got it out of the rocks. <laughs> I cleaned it. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it's Adam at his head, I was like, nah, Dave. <laughs> I got it out. <laughs> That's mine. So that means, technically, you're not blanking. I'm not blanking. Yeah. I wasn't anyway. No, what? Why? Just take camera on, eh? <laughs> I didn't miss all that. <laughs> well, it's got the last 30 seconds because it's got a uh, setting on it. Why to... did you think I was drinking? Because you've only just cast out. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm not blanking, am I? No, you're not blanking. <laughs> Jan Bird goes fishing for him. Yeah. I don't even know who's trying to deny it. Oh, that's getting a bit rough on that. It'd be from them boats that went past earlier. Yeah. Where Are you alive or are you a sack of puss? No, you're alive. It's going to be fun. Not. Oh, this is definitely a yellow tail. <laughs> what did you do? You mix it up? Look at that. Ooh. That's all. Um, Yellow gun. No, it's iodine. Oh. But it's what makes the yellow tail a desirable bait. It's sprinkling. No, I haven't been worm raped yet. <laughs> you had to go and say that, Because <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Yes, it's squirting its juice all over me. Show me where it touched ya. Yeah. I'll get the dolly out. <laughs> not allowed to. It's PG rating. It's my channel, is not PG. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's a you. <laughs> Channel's not you. Oh, that's it. That's it, I've got smokers on now for rest at night. At least Tony knows you're fishing and not with another bird, he'd come over and yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> Should only be bothered about the yellow fingers anyway. <laughs> Sorry T. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see if I can remember how to cast one of these things. I've done it, I've done it, don't call me Marcus. <laughs> well, you keep telling me, you said you weren't sure. Oh look, I had that. <laughs> yeah, difference between yours and mine, mine's only just stopped travelling. What do you mean, much stop, just stop travelling? What's that got to do with it? And mine didn't go straight up. Oh, fuck. 
What's your fault? Why is it? What's it? What, why? What have I done now? I'll use my head torch and I'll see where my light is. You're going to rub it in all night, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Right in your face. I'm going to turn nuke mode on and everything. <laughs> I can't <do> <laughs> <laughs> I'll turn your headlights on and kill your battery. <laughs> Guess who's pushing, then? <laughs> Disco, 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 disco. Do, 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 do. Oh, Let's see if the water's still enough for these lights to actually, you know, work. Work. Do I send a second rig? Yeah, why not? I just done it. Yeah, we're plenty yellows, aren't we? Yep. I just realised I put this. Get them used up. Holding the wrong way round. Yeah, I could have told you that because I could see because my head like... Oh. <laughs> 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 Don't know. That's a car in already. <clears throat> it probably will be its first cast. We have to figure out which way it's all travelling. Well, my first one oh, yeah, is sitting you... still. My second one is practically in the middle of both of us. Yeah, but one of them's got a seven ounce lead on, one of them's got a five ounce lead on. Yeah, the one that's got a five. Oh god, yeah, that one's. The one that's got a five is. That one's like fucking. Yeah. Ah, we're gonna... That's the one with a seven. I ah, were gonna cast straight as well. Nice job casting over you. Yeah, hold on, I'm just putting the tip light on and I'll lift it up and sort it out. You're alright, I've got to put a bait on, yeah. We should really move out bait into the middle of us, shouldn't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I need the first... Oh. Pierce pedal! Oh. I passed it yesterday with my bells on it and I could hear my bells... Jingle bells. bells. Yeah. Good, maybe you'll run out soon. <laughs> so, I got I'm like... Buying them in bulk. Fucking <laughs> tip lights. I'm going to use your box just for shits and giggles. I'm really not sitting on the box. No, these are definitely yellow tails. Oh, I take right. back my previous statements. Uh, have a look where your torch is through my line is. Is it going uh, out that way? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm busy sorting myself out. Alright, let's have a look. Where are you? Well, yeah, you're at about. Yeah, my first you're over there somewhere. Yeah, my first one's there. I don't know where my second one is. Oh, yep, told you once that sun sets. Yeah, condensation's coming. Shoo. Shoo, that's Oh, he's breaking the edge. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, these are definitely yellows. Well, got what we pay for. <laughs> glad I got a towel out. It was not me, officer. It was the yellow, I was caught yellow-handed. I don't know, there's a joke in there somewhere, I'm sure there is. <laughs> right, I'm going straight, so, you know. Well, what I'd say is look up... Oh, it's all right, I'll be going over you, because that's not, that's not out that far, that one, is it? From uh, looks out, looks no, at where the line's no. going. So I'm trying to keep that one short. That's not short. <laughs> <laughs> that was not short. I tried to keep it short. In fact, I'm going to take my slack out, actually. Instead of letting it settle, I'm going to take my slack out, and that'll draw it in a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but then it's oh, like okay. the same with the sea glow. It's like, you're saying that they've got the, the hooks, the lights, the beads. Yeah. But then... You can get nearly all their term... You can, you, if, if it's all in stock, can they get you, can, links there? you can get no, you can't get term links there, but they, they've got swivels and they've got um, left rod, mate. Left rod, oh, that was man. a bite. That means I've got to climb down. Wait, 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 see if it goes again. But that was a bite. Yeah, I just saw it. I 
wonder how long that's been fucking rattling while we've been sat gassing. It's only just done it because I looked back a couple of seconds ago. That was a good bite, that. Is that your black or is that your yellow? That's the yellow. That's my two up. You might, you might want to bring that in and check it. You might have something on a hook. You want to pass it down to me because it's still a rocky bit down there. Is it? Yeah. Come on. I was going to say, give it a crank, see if it feels like there's all on it. Oh. No, look. It's over at rocks, mate. Huh? The water's at the foot of the wall. That's what I'm saying. Well, just keep reeling then. Just oh, keep reeling. There is. Just keep reeling. Just keep reeling, reeling. There is. And that's him. Go, 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 go. Cardi, Cardi, Cardi. Come on. Let's lights, have it. Lights, lights. So, I can't give you any more like yes, that yes. looks good. Keep reeling, no, calm down. Just keep reeling. I can't, it's stuck. Right, reel, wind and go down with your rod. Don't st oh, you've stopped. Come here. Oh. I got it. Cardi, Cardi, woohoo! Ooh. That might be legal, but it, there's not it's much. A cod. No, it's just a cod. It's just cod. Oh. You be a bit more gentle with it. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's on yellow. Yeah, baby. Oh, sorry. Woohoo! It's on the yellow. Yeah, that's on the yellow. I do Insta, TikTok, and Snap. Well, get it off the hook and photograph it on your box. Yeah, we'll do. Because then you've got it off the, off the measure. Get it off the hook okay. and photograph it on your box. That's the most humane thing, is get it off the bloody hook. It's off. And then you've got it against the measure on your box. So you are legal, just, but there's, I mean, by the time you've gutted that, there's no, there's no meat in it. No. Unfortunately. And you've already got a better one. Well, my first cast out. And look at that. I've got a cod. Oh. Woohoo! And it's legal. Well. I'll put some fresh bait on then, eh? Oh god, this is washed almost in. <laughs> Not yours? Yeah. Yeah, I need heavier leads on. Well, well, oh, there we go. I knew that was going to happen. Gotcha. Come on. Oh. Thankfully, there wasn't a fish on that. <laughs> I got down for you. No, I just I'd have just sent it round the world. <laughs> At least I don't think there's a fish on it. No, there isn't. Have I got? You're in the rocks. No, I might have. I might have found somebody's missing rig here, because I'm caught on something, but not myself. All right, hold on. Put the light on there. I'll go. Get close to me. I can't. I'm down. This is not coming any closer. All right. Can you bow your head down? That's it. Oh, was I just hooked into a rock? Yeah. Oh, I thought we had um, Dave's missing rig then. <laughs> what, the elusive one? Yeah. I'll tell you what, that yellow's still in good nick, actually. So is mine. It's only the bottom bit of the hook. That oh god, mine. I mangled that lead though. <laughs> Sorry, right. I need a heavier on anyway. Heavier lead? Yeah. You're off the mark, mate, not yeah. a blank. With a nice cod as well. Yeah, have you gone back? No, it's there. 
Are you keeping it? Yes. Really? Yes. And I can what, you, what are you going to make out of it? A fish finger? There's no meat on it. Oh! Yes. Like it's in the boat back. Honest mate, you know I'm all for keeping a fish, but there's no meat on that. Are you really going to do that to me? Yeah. It's not worth keeping a fish if it's not worth eating, is it? What are you? You're a six. Let's try you. Ow! Look, it's the knife back in heaven. <laughs> Don't you wiggle with me. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, honestly, if you think you're going to take all that out with the belly, yeah. so you're going to have a loin down there, yeah. so then be like an inch thick, you get a fish finger, honestly, you get a fish finger off each side. It's oh, far too long when it comes to bait. I mean, well, yeah. you were out before me. Uh huh. And everyone says don't leave it more than half an hour. Yeah. And it's still looking juicy when I brought it back in. I was going to say, and that wasn't, you know. It wasn't a fat one. switched them back to the other tail now, have you? Uh, no. No? No, I've still got the two up, two up tip down on the other tail. My other one's still out. <gasps> it's not out there anymore. Oh well, that's gone. Oh yes. You didn't take your bear arm off. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You can't hide that when I'm stood outside you and your barrel arm's still on. Not when you had that crack off, no way. Oh, my lucky one's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it has. <laughs> oh well. My fault. And the thing about it, it actually cracked off on the rig. Yep, that will have done. Because you had all your shock leader on. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to struggle to cast this now. We might end up in a bit of a tangle with this. What? Because that's my short in, and your left hand rod, or your remaining rod, is. Far out. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. it might be alright then. Yeah, all it, uh, the only reason I switched it round is because this one was going to get casted out short and I didn't want to cross them over. Ah, oh, right, okay. So I just switched the rods over. Well, that's all right then. Well, now I've got off the pin. So do I text Kurt and say cod number one? Yep. I mean, we're not lying. Nope. Fingers are cold after having them in that bucket. <laughs> Let me hand warmer, aren't they, Potter? What is my hand warmer? You gave me one. Yeah, I've got two. 
I know. I've got one, you've got one. <laughs> I've also got my posh seal sting gloves in free in cupboard in cupboard. <laughs> in glove box. Well, if they're lazy biting like that, I'm going to sit and have another cup of tea. <laughs> well, they are only just coming in. But that was a lazy bite for a cod that size. I mean, I'd give you two pound on that cod. Possibly. This is really fun. <laughs> if it had been any fatter, I'd have said have it. But it were right. It were a lean bastard that one. What are you trying to do? What do you need? Oh, I'm sat on my box now, so you're not having a lot of me. Redo. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, you cracked off, didn't you? Well, you've got your spare panel rig, haven't you? Yeah, it's there. Can you use your spare panel rig, then? Yeah, but I'm putting the swivel on. Oh, right, is that where it came off, or did it? Mm -hmm. As I said, the whole rig went, went, went out there. It cracked off on the, on the line, and it set the whole rig out. Yeah. With a fresh worm and everything else. <laughs> well. I've lost, I mean, I lost count of how many times I, I seem to crack off more here than anywhere else. <laughs> you get that much alone time. Eh? You get that much alone time. Yeah. <laughs> what you've seen today, you've got to come fucking eight hours before you can fish to get a bear. You've got to pass the time somehow, haven't you? <laughs> but you see, my curse continues. Same baits, same distance, no fish. But then I was out longer than you. Yeah, we're only about five minutes. No. No? No. All right then. You remember that rod's been out for ages before you actually decided right. to get one else. Alright, burst me friggin' bubble. No, I'm trying to boost you up. <laughs> Tell you what, though, it was a good job I told you to reel it in, wasn't you? Because you were going to leave it. Well, yeah, because I was waiting for the second bite. See, it looked too bitey. The first one it did. And there's, there's stuff like this that I can't explain. I know I normally tell you to wait for the second hit, but sometimes a bite just looks too bitey. Mm. And it literally caught it on the bottom lip. Yeah. And what rig was it you lost? The pulley panel? No, uh, Two up clip. Two up clip. So I am tempted to put a three up clip down on and just, but I, mine's only got small hooks on it. That was a small hook that caught it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe it'll get us through the worm, won't it? Mm-hmm. So I think what I'll do is I'll change my short in to a three-up clip down. I'm saying that, but I'm going to put on there a front panel, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and now I'll want to change that. Yeah. Because the short in, I had... Um, three-up, two-up cl two two up up clip down. down on it. And it was only on small hooks. Because I had the worm, because I used my... Um, Needle. Yep. So, yeah. Think yeah I've, I've just put two fresh worm out, but I think I'm going to change one of them to a three up clip down. Do you want a three up clip down? If you've got one, yeah. Well, I've got two, but if it yeah, means. Yeah, I didn't take that one off you yesterday. It means if we, lo if we lose one, there's no replacement. Nah, then I'll stay with. I think you've given me two up clip downs, haven't you? Oh, yeah, I've tied you loads of two up clip downs in oh, past. Oh, no, not recently. What, what was the reason Ooh. that you gave me in the bag? Were they pulley pedals? Uh, I believe so, I can't remember. Right, Was that the same time you took all the leads? Yeah. Oh, there might have been some clip downs in that. I think it was no, all no, pulley. pulleys. Yeah, I think they were all pulleys, yeah, but... Pulleys. Two 
but uh, one up, one down really should be a good, good. Uh, yeah, should be. Sh one yeah, one up, one down should be a good shout on uh, in these conditions. One up, bottom, one in water. Yeah. You've got all bases covered. The rest of them are like either pulleys or um, single hook cut rigs, clappers. All right. The other reason we would have kept that fish is if it were got hooked. If it was? Got hooked. Yeah. It's with cod, the cod are swallowers. Well, that's what happened to the, um, the dab yesterday. Yeah. It, the basin swallowed the whole rig. Yeah, but... Well, the whole hook. Yeah. So, I mean, there's two trains of thought. You can either cut it off and release the fish and hope that it don't keel over. Yeah. But a lot of people will say if it's legal size and it's got hooked... Yeah. Take it. But obviously, ideally, we never want... I know that was just legal, but obviously we never want anything under size. No. We, um, unfortunately, even if it is gut hooked, if it's legal, then you want to cut the hook off and send it back. So the last thing you want is the EA coming down. Yeah. Saying, open your box, and you show... Because they won't say, so, you know, even you turn around to them and say it's gut hooked, they'll still say, nah, sorry, mate. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you should have cut your line and sent it back. But then it's just going to die eventually anyway. Well, yeah, but you think what the EA imposes on all the trawler fishermen? Yeah, that's true. All the crap they have to, th all the dead fish they have to throw back. Yeah, yeah Because yeah. they're not allowed to land them. Yeah. It's it's outrageous and it's unfair and it's wrong. Yes, all right, it goes for food for other fish. Really? Because nothing in the ocean gets wasted, but. It is what it is. Yeah, there's a lot of perfectly good eatable fish that go to waste because they're out of season or yeah. they're not worth landing or you know oh, ouch. That's not spaff, that's just the iodide. Yeah, with the bottom hooks longer than the actual weight. Yeah. Yeah, it's one up, one down. So it puts a flowing rig on the bottom, puts a flowing bait on the bottom of the water, on the seabed, mm -hmm. and puts one up in the up in the water. It's a good rig. For it's not one you can cast far, but you, you're not wanting to cast it far. Well. You'd be going all you'd be going 30, 40 yards if you remember to take your bail arm off. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> I'm 
trying to get out of it you never, right. It never comes off either, does it? No. I'm trying to get out of your light, that's why. Oh, are you? Yeah. So turn your light off, Ross. Oh, look at those. They've got two head torches over there. Oh, oh, that looks... That, that, go on. Go on, bring in a cod. It, it was, no, someone having a sniff, it's not a bite yet. Oh, it's wrapped now. <laughs> Come on. I always find it with this one, it keeps wrapping itself. Because it's a bouncy tip. Oh, that's why it's all like there. Yeah, it's a bouncy tip, that's why. I've got two sixes on and they're holding nicely. Well, that one you said was a seven, didn't you? Yes. But I'm all the way over there now. Well, my sixes are holding. Where's your lines? One's straight, one's off to the left. Which means now I'm probably crossing over you now. Because that one is going... Well, just pay attention as you're reeling in. Yeah. And walk down as, as needed. No. Right, are you over or are you under? Under. Okay, so... Just real quickly. That's the way. Still on there. I'll yep. Back up. Oh, we've plenty boat, mate. Put a fresh one on. You've got it in. Put a fresh one on. That's the squid and um, squid and black. Yeah, it's been out over an hour. Oh yeah, true. I'd rather have to go home early because we've run out of bait and caught a load of fish. <laughs> then take a load of bait on. I'm thinking squid and if, if the cod are here, mate, I'm thinking it's squid and mussel time. Yeah? Go on, then I want to see you do it first. Would you want me to make you one? Can do. You want me to make you one? Yeah. Because I've just sent two fresh worms, so I'm not bringing in just yet. Right, I know, <laughs> I know you guys want sort of this, want me to try doing this non-stop continuous film in Malarkey, but I've already got 260 gigabytes of film to edit from Hornsey. <laughs> I filled two memory cards for you guys, so please do head over to uh, One Man and His Rod Raw. <laughs> and, uh, and subscribe to that channel if you like that sort of thing. I'm not doing it every time. I am not doing it every time. Uh, and it's, uh, it, you're not gonna find that I'm gonna do many of them in winter because you can't see much. Um, but 
if that channel gets enough interest I will do it more often uh, but yeah I'm going to switch you over to time lapse I'm not feeling feeling too memory cards tonight guys I just not I'm never going to get the time to edit two long videos so I'll uh, flick you on to time lapse I'll speak to you in a bit Can you see the rod tips? The camera seems to have a mind of its own on its positioning tonight. You can see the rod tip. All right, that's okay then. So yeah, I just thought I'd bring you back, sort of have a bit of a sit rep. I've cracked off. That's all right, I did it in the corner, I crammed my shot, and I've lost a, re a lead. Um, you know, out there somewhere. Yeah, you know, these things happen. What else has happened? Oh yeah, bugger all! Oh, uh, Marcus went and cracked off as well, but he cracked off before me, so that's okay. <laughs> um, what else has happened? I've had two cups of tea. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it's all gone quiet now. Yeah, let's get some water on board. Should I put a noodle? Yeah. Although you haven't got all to eat it with, although you can drink them. I could drink them, yeah. Same so thing put a cup of tea on them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can't dunk a cup in a cookie in a pot noodle, can you? Oh, cookie. <laughs> what flavour pot noodle do you want? There's chicken and mushroom, beef and tomato, or Bombay bad boy. I'll be honest, I don't like the Bombay bad boy. That's alright, I'll blow my arse out. Give me a Bombay bad boy. <laughs> it's not that they're too hot, I just don't like them. I just don't like its flavour. We love in the jet boil we are. There you go, here's your Bombay bad boy. Put plenty of water in. Yep. You might still be able to brew up and you might still be able to... And I might be able to get enough water out of one bar for me. Are we even at high tide yet? It's only half seven. So we're still half an hour away from high tide? Yeah. Give or take. Right. Whilst 
Yes. Okay. So yeah, I mean, fishing wise, it's gone quiet. It's all gone quiet. We made up some baits ready, but I think, to be honest, uh, unless something happens soon, I don't think it's worth using them just yet. Not the premium stuff, no. <laughs> unless Kurt's into, oh no, was he just putting his rod down? Uh, Teddy's reeling in at the moment. But it doesn't look like he's got anything on it. Um, the tide pole's pretty rough, but if you keep it short, it's, uh, it's sticking around just fine. But yeah, it's all gone quiet since you had that whiting, hasn't it? Mm. Well, I'm getting my, my hook stripped, but nothing's happening. So I must have missed that bite. I've had a few, yeah, there's definitely been a few bites. But I think there's been a lot of line bites. Yeah. So I'm trying to keep my bait a bit stubby. Has anybody ever fished? Let me know in the comments. With a three hook panel. Just out of interest. I mean, to me, it seems like a lot of faff. But. That sounds like what I'm talking about, doesn't it? No, as in having three hooks so you can put one in the middle at bait. One at, end, and one at each end at bait. So you still only got one bait. Yeah. And then you have your main hook on the end and then two loose hooks. Are you going for a shark? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your bait's going to be like that up the line. Yeah. <laughs> well, next summer, yeah. Well, maybe for the summer, yeah. Next summer, I'm not fishing for smoothies. I am. Next summer, I'm fishing for rays and taupe. Oh, I want a taupe and, a shot and smoothies. I'm behind you still. Well, yes, but you're also behind me by two years. Mm -hmm. I started saying to Tony earlier, I said, alright, so he's not he's only been fishing so, what, six, eight months. Six months, yeah. But in this in your first six months, we've gone out more than I did in my first year. Yeah. Uh, I think in my first year I was going out once a fortnight, because Tony were working, I were working. I think the only reason I managed to send, get sort of bring, take, I think the only reason I had a video every week was because I was released, I was um, taking holiday time at work, off work, and going sort of two, three days on a bounce, yeah. and recording two or three days worth of video. And to be honest, I nearly burnt out. I nearly kept the fishing, but jacked the YouTube. Because it's very easy to burn out. It's very easy to, to, to think of it. It's very easy for it to feel like. Oh, maybe Kurt did have a fish. He's running up here, so maybe he has had some. <laughs> Come to show off. Well, yeah, there's a reason he'd be running. He's either dropped his kex or he's got a bit good fish. Although, why he won't just send me a photo of it, I don't know. What, are you running away from a bomb? What? What's up? What have you done? Like, uh, you shit yourself? Yeah, yeah. I'm running away from the Don't be painting my car. Yeah, well, um, you have to drop us off, because he's got uh, to shoot off now. Alright, no worries. No worries, it's like we say, a bit, a bit cramped. You might have to hang on tight to roof bars. I don't mind that, mate. I'll put them up, sit in the boot, mate, and put the boxes on top of them. <laughs> <laughs> so you've gone quite down your end as well? Yeah. Yeah. I got, well, I've done three casts close in, like you say, with yellow tails on, and yeah. I did a two up quick down on. I had one little rattle at the start, and then that was yeah. it. Yeah. And yeah. Then, as soon as it like, I thought it was like the lead set of red light, but it must have been, and that was it. Yeah. Just brought it back in now and... It's weird though, Whiting's taken bottom one, I'd have thought Whiting would have gone for one in water. Happened on the other one as well. Have you turned it? Happy. 
it is. Yeah. And it's in that one we're going to swim off, but it has. Get them off quick and get them in and get them home. I'm out there. Like, like hang around, man. What? We finish making a cup of tea now. I'll pick it up in Clayfarts in the morning. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised the way you skipped that across the top of the water and against the wall. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, Jan, your rod's still there. Same time. Yeah, just send me water down when you're ready. Oh, yeah. Send me the boiling water down when it's ready. Yeah. Oh, at least it's not just us that's gone quiet then. No. I'd rather catch an Austin than catch Whiting at the moment. <laughs> I know normally I'm thankful for any fish, but it's like we said yesterday at Hornsea, I've had enough whiting. That's not mind them chucking it back. After that, well, that was that were undersized anyway. Yeah. Right, I'll knock it off now. Now it's boiling. Um, oh. Yeah, especially after that big and I had at macro, that were a chunk, that one. Yeah. For a short caught whiting, that were massive. What was that, a 40 something, wasn't it? 40, it was off the end of my scale. Yeah. Off the end of my measuring stick. you change out your trainers that were dry into wet wellies? Because I went down there to get his, um, his cod, didn't I? Oh, yeah. That's why I don't want to put Yeah, is your dinner back. worth wet feet? Hmm? Is your dinner worth wet feet? Say it again? Is your dinner worth wet feet? Yeah. There you go, then. Yeah. Although if I keep fishing with you like next year, mm. I'm gonna have to buy a deep fat fryer because the curse only affects me. <laughs> you can catch cod, it's me that can't catch cod. I do it I've gone out with four other sort of pro fishermen. Yeah. We're all bang codding all day long. And you go and catch it. And I do exactly the same. Every single one of them has said you're doing exactly the same as me. Yeah. So there's no reason why you're not catching. But in Look when you were fishing um, smooth bounds. Yeah. I couldn't catch smooth bounds yet. I was using the same bait, same rig. Yeah. Casting roughly about the same distance. Mm. Give or take, and I, and I wasn't getting nowhere. Yeah. I played, and you look at the, look at the last one where we had like what ten of us down there. Yeah. And everyone caught this at three. Yeah. The thing with smooth bounds is they're picky. Your bait presentation has to be right, and it has to be in the right place. And I know full well at that point, I wasn't you, you up. weren't baiting up properly. No. Um, I mean, I'm still learning how to bait up. Um, John Fishlocker did a, 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 a really good video. He wasn't, I don't think he was fishing for smooth downs, but he was using crabs from the beach. Okay. 
and he showed how he uses them now. What, the little ones? Yeah, the peelers. Okay. Um, and he showed how he baits them up, and since watching that is how I've done it, and that's what got me success. But then, you know, the other fellas that were down there, Matt, Dave, yeah. they've all shown me to bait up how they bait up, and I, went, I blanked at the side of them, yeah. and I were doing, once again, doing exactly the same as they were doing. It's just... It's just the way it is, or the way it can be. Yeah. And you think when we're in, what, 26, 28? Yeah. When we're normally in? When you're on that side, you catch all day long. Writing? Yeah, but okay, besides that one cod, it's like when we, was, when we was fishing and we were just keeping all the whiting last time. Yeah. When you was on this side, you were catching like man, and I was over there blanking. Yeah. So it's like whatever's coming through, it's going straight on that hook and ignoring these ones. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Mm. It's weird. Like, if they weren't driving up and down, and you put your car over there, I guarantee you, you cross over there, you'll probably start catching. Because I moved over. Well, if you put the car there and start casting from where you are now, you'll probably start catching. Yeah, maybe. Although I am, I am, I will hold my hand up and say I am at the point where I would even accept a whiting or a dab. <laughs> just so you don't blank. Just so I don't blank. But I'll be honest, after the enjoyment I had yesterday, yeah. I'm not that bothered. I, I, as, as much as I was comfortable sat at home and the discomfort of having to come down here and sit all day mm. and not do anything essentially. I mean, but the thing is, so, you know, I went into town, I picked up Kurt, I came back and we, sit, we stood around and had a crack for a couple of hours. Yeah. So that was all right. Mm -hmm. So I did get over the initial, I'd rather be at home warm in bed. Oh, if it's <laughs> anything like you did yesterday, in your coat, sitting on your box, you're afraid you would have gone to sleep in your box. I wasn't going to go to sleep, I was just really comfy. <laughs> I wasn't cold, no. I was just comfy. I wasn't going to fall asleep because I wasn't tired. But I was, uh, yeah, I was certainly very comfortable and just, just didn't want to move. But that showed a difference in fishing because I had bait sat in water for fecking ages, still catching, mm. and you were in and out and in and out and in and out. Yeah. And you were, as much as you deny it, if you ever get round to watching the long video, stop it down, you don't need it back, do you? No, not yet. If you ever get round to watching the long uncut version of that video, you'll see me, I'd give a running commentary. Sorry, hold on. You, you're not making tea, are you? No. Oh, okay, I was going to say you need more water. I'd give a running commentary of what you're doing. <laughs> and over the course of about 20 minutes, you recast about six times. You know why? I ain't going to lie. Every time I, I banged it in, when I let it settle, tight lines, it bounced. So I thought, right, okay, and I left it. Then I look at it, and it wasn't tight, it wasn't tight noise, because it bounced again, straight away, before the next tide came in. So that's why I went and went and pulled it, but then, obviously I didn't wait for the big bang. Yeah, and, but I mean, like I said, like I said to you yesterday, you were in the shallows, you were in the surf. Yeah. You, were, you weren't, you might have th thought you were banging it out, but you weren't, you weren't that far. No. Done. Oh, burnt now. Oh, God, no. See, I've got just enough water in there that I can drink it. <laughs> You've got enough water to top your brew up there. Well, I've done it. Since that, there's still half a jet ball there. Well, that's fine then. I like my pot noodles, like you could spread them on toast. No, it's just thick. But it just teaches me a lesson. I normally have a spoon and a teaspoon and my light, and I've left all of them. Yeah. Yeah, because I bet you were running round at 100 mile an hour. To be honest, no, I put my clothes from yesterday in the washing machine and they were all on the heater, so I was trying to remember what to pack. <laughs> I got home, argued with Tony 
because she was hungry. She was very hungry. <laughs> the point where she started mouthing off at me and I just turned around and said, you know what, Tony, I'll go to bed. I'm not bothered. I'm not have out to eat. And Charlotte just went, I'm going to bed. Oh, Charlotte was still awake? Yeah, Charlotte was still up because she wanted to wait for me coming home. Mm. She wanted to talk to me, is what Charlotte wanted. Oh, OK. But... Tony were at work. She said she weren't angry, she weren't pissed off at anybody, she was just hungry. Mm. And uh, she snapped at me and I just went biting. And I just turned around and said, I'll have no one go to bed, I'm not bothered. But you said to her, just order anything. I know. Which a typical woman can't make a decision. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm being racist and sexist. Who else can I offend tonight? Oh, I've never, I've, 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 I've abused Vern. Who else can I offend? Well, from what I hear, he deserves it. Well, it's like I've said to everybody, regardless of his feelings, regardless of what he may or may not have said about me, if he came to me with his hand out and said, no apologies, let's just start again, mm. I'd say fine. Yeah. And I say that in the video I recorded yesterday. Life's too short to be a dick. When you get to our age, what's the point? What's the point in falling out with somebody? Just move on. Yep. I mean, Jesus, the amount of shit I say to you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if, if, if we weren't growing up about it, fucking okay, hell, how many times would we have had a fight? Mm. Jesus Christ. All right, so come down. Either drive on or turn your fucking eye beams off. And he's just stopped there talking to... Oh no, here he Turn your eye beams off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm blind now, can't see anything. See, to all you students, you can eat a pot noodles without any cutlery. <laughs> I believe these students know. <laughs> I've seen students crunch their way through a pot noodle without water or cutlery. Oh, oh yeah, it's not a pleasant sight. No, that's horrible. Just remember, before you go hand to mouth with any food, you've been handling essentially raw mussels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying, if we go, if you if you go for a dunk or a roll, mm. give your hands a I wash. I have my. I did have my antiseptic. The bacterial one. Um, All I'm saying is, just give your hands a wash. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you've got the soap and water in there, haven't you? This, well, there's the soap in the boot, yeah. yeah. So, so you've been handling raw mussels and there's nothing more, well, so there's nothing more lethal than raw mussels. There is, but they are, they are very lethal. Yeah. They can make you very, very sick. No, nothing's touched. Bottom. And before I put in a bit on there, I washed it down with the water anyway and got it put off the top. Oh. What's that look for? Are you looking at your one? Yeah. <laughs> I can see just lots and clearing back. <laughs> yeah. To be honest, my left one I should probably reel in and recast, but I don't want to. I just realised I haven't cast my back out. No, you haven't rebated it or anything. No. I oh, know you have rebooted it, have you? Uh -uh. No. There's still worms on both hooks, you could have resent it. Yeah. I mean, you might not have caught anything, but you could have resent it. That's the one I 
Tell you what we'll do, something I've not done for ages. We'll do readers' comments, see if there's any comments I can reply back to in video. Because I've not done this for a while. Oh, crap. Oh. I really should check my messages more often, shouldn't I? <laughs> you say that every time. Uh, you still in 27? Yeah. Who's that? Dave. Tony, let me know when you're on your way home. Kids and I only eat one pizza, so I can cook the other for you when you get home. Uh, no. <laughs> Matt, I'm gonna I'm gonna blame you. Why? I'm gonna say you've ordered a pizza. Come on, Russ, you can do it. Danny's okay. He's fingered a good few. <laughs> oh, Danny the cod fingerer. One blank but serving it for Hurricane Harry. Have we got a bad weather front coming in? I hope not. What have you heard, Jimmy? Been reading tea leaves again. <laughs> <laughs> so I checked the weather log this morning. Been it said it's going to be fine all day. Been chatting with a weather guru, John Tetley, Michael Fish, <laughs> Jasper Carrot, old Golden Balls himself. Right, anyway, viewers' comments. <laughs> Let's have a look. See if there's all work. See if there's all I can reply to in video. Let's have a look. Comments, comments, comments. I could have gone live on YouTube, really. <laughs> right, there's two comments here I can reply to. David Haynes. Sorry, it was three days ago. I've been extremely busy. Are you in Pimp Group, mate? It's a Facebook fishing group for people to post YouTube videos. I am, David. Um, as you're watching this, actually, you will have watched the Haunted video where I explain why I don't promote my own videos. Uh, but it is seriously appreciated when other people do. Uh, it affects the YouTube algorithm if the same account that publishes the videos promotes them. Uh, is the long story short. What's the car parking like there as I live inland and don't know the area? What video was that commented on? That was East Coast at Macro. Right, uh, that was Wolf Abrahams. The parking at Macro. Am I wanting what? Sorry, mate. Uh, I could do with some drinking water saving, yes, yeah. but whatever, you know, I don't care whether it's your tap water or that water, it makes no difference to me. So, Wolf Abrahams, what's the parking like on um, Macro? It's brilliant, it's brilliant, especially in the evening and nighttime sessions, uh, because you are parking. As you come down towards B&Q and Macro, you can literally, there's double yellows on the right hand side of the road as you're heading towards Macro, but on the left hand side there's no double yellows. So you can just park at the side of the road. Just try and tuck yourself in, make it sure that you're out of the way. Um, but if you're fishing during the day, do I say this, dare I say this? Check the signage. But if you're fishing during the day opposite B&Q and the likes of that, I have parked all day in the B&Q car park. But they do need you to move on around six, seven o'clock. They do close the car parks. You can't get in them. If you're fishing down the bottom end, down by Macro, there is a space for about a dozen cars, half a dozen cars maybe, um, just to park just down on the end. Uh, so there is plenty of parking, parking's easy, access is brilliant, uh, you can basically pass the gear over the wall, especially if there's two of you. Ooh, is that finally a little bitey right? A little twinge on the rod closest to you. Um, cheers, mate. But yeah, parking, access, brilliant. Um, remind me, you know at Macro, yeah. uh, all the steppy bits, is there any rampy bits for disabled access? I don't think there is, is there? Uh, I think they're all steps, aren't they? Uh, so disabled access, not too great. But the steps are what, five little steps? Yeah. Yeah, so it's not nothing major, nothing but major, no, I'm sure there will be a ramp somewhere. 
far to the right. If you go right down the end past Macro, macro. you just you just roll straight over, won't you? you? I mean, let's be honest, if you're in a wheelchair and you go over that hump, you're going to be fishing 200 yards down past Macro because you ain't going to stop unless you hit a boulder. No. But then there is a, there is a look down as well. <laughs> You're just going to keep rolling because that's quite a steep mound, mound that. Yeah, but they're going to go down to the actual railings. There's a drop and they won't be able to get a chair down that. No, I think if you go far enough down though, I think the drop disappears. I, I think. Know, I've never been down that far. But honestly, if there's plenty of fishermen about, I'm sure they'll help. But I'm not too sure on disabled access. Fair few comments on the size of that whiting. It was a very nice size whiting for a short caught whiting, especially on the on the east coast. Um, and a fair few comments on that crab on the on the mitten crabs. They are freaky looking things. Um, they're like the daddy long legs of the crabs. Cheers, but I don't want them right now. Oh. You can leave them on car or summer. I've still my pot noodle to eat. You can get one out if you want. Oh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tempt me with cookies and not share. I can. Oh, we're at high water. Hmm? We're at high water. So yeah, in theory, we should. Clock. In theory, we should be able to bang baits out now for about 15, 20 minutes. Cool. So I'm going to recast my three up clip down. So yeah, hopefully David and uh, Wolf. That's answered your questions. I would like to thank Richard Jarvis for being a continued member of the channel. Um, the support really does help me out. I would like to thank all the new subscribers. I'm steadily ticking away at about two to three subscribers per day. So thank you, hello and welcome. And yeah, guys, if you like what I'm doing, please like, share and subscribe. This ain't the best fishing session tonight in the world, but hey it happens this is real fishing until next time Ta not until next time i'm not finishing but i am going to pause recording because there's nothing going on so i'm going to stop recording for a bit and i'll talk to you in a bit right yeah first things first let's recast because oh. it's worth skying a bait now that we're on slack water in fact, we might not even be on slack water because that bait's travelled back round again. Perhaps I should... Oh, shit, this is really slack. A clump of weed, a clump of weed. Anything is better than a clump of weed. Don't feel fishy. Although it'd be a nice bit of redemption after a crack off. It has been out a while. Oh, shock leader's in. And we've got a little boy in. I'm off the mark, I'm not blanking. Are you having a dump or something back there? <laughs> we've got a little thing. Where's the hook? Let go of the hook! Thank you. So yeah, we've got a little ting. There we go, little ting. Beat the blank, we're off the mark. Back you go. Back you go. Happy chappy. Happy chappy now. Oh crap, there's another one slack as well. Have I been slack lined on both rods? Bloody hell I have. I've been slack lined on both rods. Ooh, this doesn't that. feel fishy. Jesus, look at that water level, man. I know, right? You nick me dunkers, you nick me cookies. Dear God, man. Well, there's nothing. There ain't. Oh, there is. I oh. forgot it's blacks that were on it. <laughs> I thought the, hey, what fish is on that? I thought the bait had been stripped. 
It's the it's the highly camoed flounder. It's the special ops flounder. <laughs> Right, tell you what, I'm going to leave them blacks on and I'm going to whip a special at the side of it. Can you pass me a special? Oh, I need some elastic as well. Huh? A special bait. The ones you've been making. Oh, this should be in the top. <laughs> are we on slack water or are we on the ebb? We might actually be on the ebb, mate. It might be. thinking that, that's why I'm going to bang it out now. It might be pulling to the left already. We are, because I'm already over there. <laughs> I was over there and now I'm over there. Yeah, I could have fucked up with that cask going out at this distance then. <laughs> oh well. Oh well, it's out there now. Do you know abusing my tiny white thing? <laughs> Do you know, I drive him down places, I feed him. teach him and then he abuses me. <laughs> I don't know, that's your problem. What's your problem? I am. <laughs> and so far I think I've managed to lose all my baiting needles. Yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't. I got my nice shiny carbon fibre one from Trident that I was really sceptical was nice to use until I actually started to use it and it is really nice to use. Don't worry, I've ordered you one. You might not, might not get it now because you've abused me. <laughs> I feel violated. I think I've ordered you one. I'm not sure I did actually. Find out if it comes in order. Yeah, blacks, the, the uh, yellow tails aren't right happy anymore. to the left. Yeah, I've had one come back like that. It's how it goes some days. Oh, that bag of lug, that bucket of lug is so cold. I know. <laughs> Do you think it's because it's now pretty much just a bucket of death? <laughs> I don't think they're, uh, they certainly ain't going home, put it that way. No, not unless you have to complain about water flocking around in your back and your again. No. <laughs> well, I won't be out again at least until the weekend, so it's pointless taking them home, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I just spoke to her. Alright, is that what you were doing hiding behind car? Yeah, I was texting her. 
Josh happy? Sure, right? Yeah. Good. That's all I need to know. Oh God. Ow. Gotta be careful with power say talking about power rangers because white rangers just died, haven't they? Oh yeah. <laughs> I've just done it again. What? Sent it and we think the tide's already turned. <laughs> I'm gonna be catching you. Get I'm gonna be catching you. We'll see, see where it settles. Oh, that cold's coming in now. Yep. That cold is coming in big time. What you... Ouch! What if I got the cup of tea on? I've got my flask there. I've still got two litres of tea. Why did you want my tap oil? To make me pot noodle. Oh. Which I've still not eaten. <laughs> I'm going to put some cold water in it. And I'm going to use the warm water to wash my hands. Yeah. I'm going to find me soap. Did you find me soap? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. Huh? I said I'm going to start slinging these. What? I'm not blowing on all of them. Look. The cat doesn't blow. It just melts. Uh, That's why you have to keep it frozen. Or as frozen as you can. <laughs> but yeah, I'd start sending them, mate, because nothing else is working, so let's get some cart in the water. I've just chucked the whole box in there. Oh. Alrighty then. I've just chucked the whole lot in there. That don't, don't know what will. I will turn that camera off in a minute because it's still recording. <laughs> soap on your handle but it is just soap. Huh? A bit of soap on your handle but it is just soap. Yeah. Right. I ain't spaffed on it I promise. Quick, but you ain't that quick. <laughs> 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 We've been talking to. <laughs> really? I need to be having words. <sighs> first he abuses first he abuses my little white thing. Now he's abusing my stamina. <laughs> I'll speak to you in a bit guys. Yeah.